All right, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise. In New York, baby, I'm coming back from the fish hatchery to go where I just spent $100 probably to consign how many poor little fish to some gruesome death when my fucking pond goes dry in a few weeks. But uh, anyway, it'll give the heron something to eat, I guess. Uh, I was just listening to fucking NPR since there's no one else to listen to. Oh uh, yes, it is Saturday, May 15th, 2021. So, I missed the first part of the, the interview with the author of this book, so I'm not sure that the fellow whose name I never caught is a quote, Native American, otherwise known as the first invasive Americans, uh, the first wave of invasion um, to all of the other earthlings who lived here before humans got here. And you know, those guys, those noble savages, I think he is, I'm 100% sure the illustrator of this book, <clears throat> which I don't know the title of, and I would not even give the title of it. Uh, I am 100% sure the illustrator of the book, which sounds like the illustrations are every bit as important as the writing, and but bottom line is what the storyline and these illustrations are about is walking a trap line, uh, whether or not uh, the trap line is being run by one of these modern original invaders. And, and you should have heard fucking NPR making a trap line. Uh, trapping is, you know, those fucking leg hole traps. Trapping uh, is. And full disclosure, I, I enjoy uh, industrial uh, farmed uh, chicken and pigs nearly every day of my life. Trapping wild animals, uh, if I had to think of the most inexcusable, cruel, uh, bloodthirsty, savage, uh, activity that humans of any skin color do is, is these goddamn trap lines and fucking NPR making uh, trapping our fellow earthlings in, in, the, in these cruel, painful leg hold traps. Um, you know, sound like a fucking Norman Rockwell painting. I mean, it, I, I really wanted to fucking puke listening to whoever that little, uh, I just about used the F word, uh, <clears throat> uh, on there on NPR on Saturday morning, uh, you know, acting like trapping our, our fellow earthlings in these bloodthirsty, cruel traps. I don't know. He made it sound like, uh, you know, a fucking picking dandelions uh, on, on a Saturday morning and, and, and this goddamn woman, this illustrator, you know, talking about how trapping uh, is part of the culture uh, of, her, of her people, uh, you know, going back thousands of years. I have no doubt that fucking trapping uh, is part of the noble savage fucking culture, those fucking noble savage invaders who uh, had pretty much cleaned out the vast majority of uh, our fellow earthlings here on Turtle Island before Honky uh, ever arrived to uh, just finish off 
uh, the few scraps that those motherfucking noble savages had left behind with their fucking trap lines and everything else. Um, and, and to sit here and, and, and suggest that trapping uh, is still an integral part of modern Native Americans culture uh, pull your fucking head out of your ass. I get so sick and tired of this fucking uh, little bliss ninny uh, fucking noble savage. There's nothing fucking noble. Not a fucking thing. You, you clueless fucking bitch. Uh, I, I, I wanted to fucking put her fucking mouth in a leg hole trap. I, I wanted her goddamn kids to uh, spend about three days with a fucking leg hole trap uh, on their ankles uh, out there in the fucking cold uh, waiting along around for some noble fucking savage to uh, come along and put a bullet through their fucking head. You know, just, just go on, just go on fucking YouTube and, and, and put uh, Indians uh, on, on their trap lines. Now, you know, I, I have just enough of my former little uh, snowflake lefty, uh, just a, of my last ounce. You know, I try to imagine uh, pre honky uh, about how uh, the original invaders, uh, how, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know how they trapped animals. They didn't have these leg hole traps. My guess is it was probably more pit traps where they, I'm assuming they dug a fucking hole and the animal fell in the hole. I don't know what they came up with. Uh, I've never had any, in, any reason to study it. And maybe when, you know, they were literally dependent uh, on trapping uh, their fellow earthlings, you know, for food and for skins to make clothing out of. I, I have just enough uh, my little snowflake lefty uh, cling on in, in, in my personality to, to try to fucking uh, open my mind and give them a pass on uh, up until Honky got here. But uh, to sit here and claim in, in the fucking year 2021 uh, that trapping is, uh, you, you know, uh, as I say, equivalent to, to fucking uh, picking dandelions on a Sunday morning, well, like fucking NPR uh, making it out to be, you know, fucking NPR. And do, doing their fucking uh, stories about how these mountaintop removal planet eaters in, in uh, where is it, West Virginia, reintroducing elk, you know, blowing off the tops of mountains, destroying thousands and thousands of miles of, uh, of trout streams and whatnot, and uh, planting uh, these former mountains with grass and setting some elk out there and, and fucking NPR uh, coming out there acting like the, these goddamn mountaintop removal coal miners are, are, are fucking uh, saving the elk. You know, and, and, and these little goddamn greeny lefties probably uh, sitting there cheering on uh, these goddamn noble savage fucking trappers, the, these fucking mountaintop removal planet eaters for bringing the elk back to West Virginia. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. I just get so fucking sick uh, of everything.
I, I'm, I'm so fucking sick and tired of humans, of little lefties, of these fucking little bliss ninnies. You, you know, these, these goddamn bliss ninnies, I'm not going to get off on this whole rant. And, and you know, this fucking word, namaste, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, that these fucking little bliss ninnies uh, are, are always closing out their little emails or whatever with the word namaste and then as soon as, as you ruffle their feathers they get their little fucking bliss ninny panties in a fucking wad and, uh, and that, that's the end of namaste uh, th these fucking bliss ninnies uh, you, you know they're, they're some of the most fucking intolerant uh, angry goddamn people I've ever met. Uh, they're, they're a bunch of fucking, uh, you know, Bliss Ninnies, they're, they're not quite as bad as, uh, as, as some people, I guess. Uh, but they still make me want to fucking puke. And these, uh, these, these goddamn bliss ninnies and their fucking namaste this and your, and, and their fucking, uh, little, uh, whatever, uh, sending out your green bubbles of energy to save this fucking planet. You know, uh, any who's. This is, so this is where, so what happened yesterday with the fucking tiller, okay, this is where these motherfucking planet eaters come in, came in there and channelized this creek and fucked up the bridge. So there's a stop sign on either side. So I was coming in here yesterday and, uh, and I clearly, uh, had the right of way at the stop sign. The motherfucker coming my way was, was, was a lot farther from his stop sign than I was mine. And I was coming up, you know, carrying that tiller, uh, doing about 30 miles an hour. This motherfucker uh, was doing about 70 in a 35. And I, and I saw uh, that the son of a bitch uh, had no intention of stopping, much less, uh, he, he had no intention of fucking slowing down, much less stopping. So even though I clearly had the fucking right of way, I, I, I fucking slammed all my brakes to keep from having a fucking head on collision with this clueless fucking moron. And that's when the goddamn tiller went through the back of my, uh, back of my truck. Look, look, look at this fucking glass all over. I mean, Sancho was covered with fucking glass. So I'm looking at 500 fucking dollars from that, from those clueless morons. So this is uh, the same creek that runs through my house. So this is what uh, my neighbors <coughs> want me to do with my creek. Uh, this supposedly, you know, will keep, you know, my house uh, from flooding. So if I want to save my house from flooding, all I got to do is, is do this. Now I did clean the creek out a little bit, but this is what uh, the New York Department of Environmental Quality uh, anyway, we're, we're so fucked, people. We are so fucked. But it is a gorgeous day. Look at this gorgeous spring day. I mean, spring has sprung in New York, baby. And I have to go dump a hundred dollars worth of fish in my pond to feed the fucking herons when the pond goes dry. Get out there and enjoy your pond before it goes dry and come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm, the 
official grand opening is 13 days from now, but anybody can come on down anytime. I think that's the motherfucker that, I, that I'm pretty sure that is the motherfucker uh, who ran me off the road. He's in this fucking little silver uh, sedan. Uh, the, the neighbors, I, 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 you know, it's time to to uh, put a fucking two by four full of sixteen penny nails. We need to, uh, you, you know, get a little neighborhood watch and uh, get one neighbor up the road saying, okay, he's on his way, and then uh, have the other neighbor go out there and put, throw a fucking two by four full of 16 penny nails out in the fucking road, motherfucker. I get so sick and tired of fucking humans. I really do. I mean, I, 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 I love people, but uh, I, I despise fucking humans. I despise everything about a fucking human. What do you think, little dog? Do you despise everything about a fucking human? Any who's get out there uh, and enjoy your fellow fucking humans. Well, you still can. Oh yeah, they're having some uh, some sort of little event at the organic farm. I remember Basil and Karen talking about some class they're holding today. Now, of course, I'm not invited to the uh, to the class at. These guys are major fucking mask Nazis, these organic farmers, you know, out here in the middle of fucking nowhere on their organic farm. Alistair and I, we stopped by there uh, last summer to meet our organic farming neighbors, and uh, <laughs> they would not let us get out of the truck. Uh... Anyway, we are so fucked that we're coming back into uh, bugs in a jar. Let's see what fucking disaster uh, awaits me now. What, what goddamn disaster is around the next man? You know, that shit yesterday with that tiller, uh, just how in one fucking second, one fucking second, an otherwise perfect day can be ruined. Anywho, look at springtime busting out all over on uh, this is bugs in a jar. Off to the left. That's what I. That's the main job I have to do is keep on. Clearing out that field. All right, we are back home at the Hammond Hilton, and I got some fish. I have a pond I have to stock while I still can. Bye, guys.